Hi, I'm Ruben Saltzman with Structure Tech Home Inspections, and today I'm going to talk about identifying the difference between a 60 amp and 100 amp fuse panel, even when it's really tiny, like this one behind me. So I'm talking about this today because one of the inspectors on our team came across a panel that was pretty small, kind of similar to this one behind me, and none of the labeling on the panel was legible. It was all wiped up, wiped off and it was damaged and you couldn't figure out anything on there. And his question to our group was, what am I looking at? Is this a 60 amp or a 100 amp panel? And I want to just talk through some of the clues that we use to help point in the right direction. So number one, we would normally look at the panel label and it's usually going to say right on there what the amperage is. So for instance, I got this little panel and normally when I see something this tiny, I, I just kind of assume it's a 60 amp panel. It's pretty, pretty small. However, if we look carefully, you can see this is actually a 100 amp panel. It says it right on there. So you can't just go by the size of the panel. You need to look at the label on there. But some of the other clues that we looked at, number one was the meter on the outside. When you've got a round meter base, it almost always indicates a 60 amp service. And if you've got a square meter base, it almost always indicates a 100 amp service. These are not hard and fast rules. You can't hang your hat on this and say, because of this, you therefore have this, but it's gonna steer you in that direction. So this had a square meter base, really good chance that it's a 100 amp service. Next, we need to look at the service entrance conductors, those wires that are coming into the panel. These are really large wires. I can't tell from this photo exactly what size they are. I wish I was good enough to figure that out, but I do know if it's a 100 amp service, we need to have a minimum of two gauge wires if it's aluminum. And that's what we had here was aluminum. I'd say we at least have two gauge aluminum wires. So these are sized appropriately for a 100 amp service. And then finally, if we really wanted to go nuts, now we probably wouldn't do this during a home inspection, but we could pull out one of those fuses and see if it cuts out power to the entire house or just some of the house. A lot of these old fuse panels are really what we consider a split bus panel where it takes more than one hand movement to disconnect all the power. In this particular case, the labeling on these two pullouts said main on both of them. That tells me that this is a split bus panel. We actually have two hand movements to disconnect all the power to the house. One of those pullouts is gonna disconnect power to everything below it, and the other is gonna disconnect power to the wires coming out of it. So it's, this one is wired the exact same way. If I take this pullout, it's kind of tough. If I pull this out, I have now disconnected the power to these four fuses and the two lugs that somebody could add to, that somebody could tap into to add another box. And it's indicated by this label on the panel here. Even though I have that out, there's still power coming down into this fuse block and the power is gonna go through these fuses and out. So really to disconnect all the power to the house, I need to take this and pull this one out. Now I've disconnected all the power. So we might expect to find some 60 amp fuses on the one side, 40 amp fuses on the other, gets us our 100 amps, and that's it. So it's, it's nice to know how these work. They're not all wired this way, but the big indicator at this particular house that it was, was the fact that both of the pullouts said main. If they did not both say main and there was nothing to indicate that, I might be a little more concerned that this is a 60 amp service. In the end, we couldn't find any labeling that definitively said it was a 100 amp service. We put a note in our report saying that all clues indicate it's a 100 amp service, but we couldn't verify this 100%. Okay, I'm Ruben Saltzman with Structure Tech Home Inspections. Thank you so much for watching. Take care.